Okay, y'all. It's day 12 of November. I don't know how much longer we're gonna make it. It's getting colder. It's getting darker. I just keep hearing these sounds in my head and I just keep saying oh, mm. up on the housetop reindeer paws it just uh, I, I can't get it out of my head I don't know what to do <laughs> who wouldn't go it's time These socks so cute. My sweet sister sent them to me in a package. Love them. Okay, so we're about to head into my favorite hardware store. Maybe a little unexpected. They have some home decor. I know exactly what I'm looking for. So here we go. Target's acquired. So it's really dark in here, but these are the little stands that we got at the hardware store. And then also these pine cones. I may or may not have just set this little tree that I just got so festive out to see how it would look. Just to see, you know? Okay, so we actually did really good today. We got a rug ordered for the living room, which I'm really excited about. It should be here in like two weeks, hopefully. Then we also got some Christmas. I'm so excited. I also wanted to mention, if you're looking at a rug and you're not sure what size to get in your space, what I like to do, and I did in our living room here, is actually tape off the ideal size. So I just took regular tape and was like, okay, this is where I think it would be good. And then I measured after I laid it down and then I put in my phone a note that was like, okay, this is the minimum, it would have to be this by this. So then when you're at the store looking, then you can get a better gauge because it's so hard to tell the size of the rug at the actual store, you know? So here, I'll show you. So here is like where I did a very general tape off of like, okay, this is where I would like to get it about, you know? However, now I am pulling this off because I don't want to have a sticky floor. It also doubles to get the lint off your pants. Something that I thought was really cute is that the Germans learn British English, so they'll actually call any pants, even yoga pants, trousers. I think I might start to put away fall, put away the pumpkins, and pull out the trees. I'm getting so excited for Christmas. All of this holly jolly. I was like whistling some Christmas music earlier and Dennis was like, okay, we can look at Christmas at the store, but we cannot be playing Christmas music yet. I'm like, no music. I didn't even realize I was whistling it. What can I say? I'm in the Christmas spirit. Push day is done. Got that out of the way. It's always a good feeling. So I have been making it to the gym consistently. I know I had mentioned it before. I feel like I do have some tips and things that have helped me along the way and making sure I get in there consistently. I'm not sure if that's something that interests you guys. You should let me know below if it does and then I could incorporate that in. December is coming up which means vlogmas for a lot of people and I don't think that I could do vlogmas but I do think that 12 days of Christmas would be more achievable. So I was thinking about doing that for the month of December which is 12 videos. Let me know what you think of that as well. I have a really exciting project coming up. 
I am so, so, so excited for this next project. Y'all don't even know. I have been waiting for this. It will be so good. So good. I'm super excited to show you it. Time to get some food. Okay, so even though we have started decorating for Christmas, we do still have the bar cart that has fall stuff for Thanksgiving still, so I'll show you. Okay, so here my lovely sister sent these beautiful towels. How pretty is this? It's so plush and so thick. I almost don't wanna use it to like wipe my hands on, but that would be silly, so we will be using it. And then these are actually those Christmas acorns, not acorns, what are these called? Pine cones that I just picked up from Bolta. And they're pretty fallish and winterish, so that will be nice for both. There we go. We have a beautiful sunny day out today. And in sad news, our orchid lasted a long time. But this year, season, comes to an end for the orchid. Have enjoyed it. Okay, they actually just called and the rug is ready now, so let's go get it. Okay, here's the deal with the rug. So as you know, we have been looking for a rug for a hot minute. Ideally, I would like all four legs of the couch and the two chairs to be sitting on the rug. That's a really big rug and I know it is. I'm having a really hard time finding a rug that I like that size. I was trying to be more open and adjust my perimeters, so I measured what it would be to have the bare minimum, which is the front two legs of each, the couch and the chairs, to be sitting on the rug. Well, when we were shopping on Saturday, the biggest rug that they had was slightly smaller than my smallest measurement. So I think I was a little bit too eager to get a rug in here and a little bit too optimistic. So I was thinking, you know what? Maybe that will fit, maybe that will be a match. The other thing, I've had in my head the style of rug that I want for a while now. So I know what I'm looking for. And they didn't have that style, but they did have a pretty one that was some darker shades of gray, a little bit of blue and like tan and cream. So I thought, you know what, it's not what I've been looking for, but maybe it'll work. It's too small. So a little bit of real life in the world of interiors. Sometimes it takes bringing it home, seeing it in your space to realize that it's just not a fit. And that's okay. You know, that rug is a really pretty rug and it will be beautiful in someone else's home, just not in this space. The hunt continues. Okay, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here, but I hope that you have a wonderful weekend and we'll see you soon. Cheers! P.S. Whoop whoop, Christmas. It's not decorated yet, but it's uh, it makes me so happy.